If somebody came to you and made you an offer, look, I, I have a house. Here's a picture. Beautiful mansion. It's the most beautiful house, and it's in front of the beach, and it's on top of a, a cliff. It's got this gorgeous view. It's exactly the kind of interior you wanted, exactly the kind of exterior you wanted. Everything you ever wanted is there in that house. And he says, this house is worth a few million, but I'm willing to send you, sell it to you for $200. First of all, you won't believe it. That's no way you're going to sell me that for 200 bucks. But then he makes you, a, he furthers the offer. He says, listen, it's guaranteed. I'm giving it to you for $200. But the only thing is, you can have it after 15 years. You can't have it right now. So I need the $200 now, but you can have it after 15 years. Okay? There's no way you'd take that deal. It's a scam. But basically, that's what Allah is offering. He says, here's heaven. Doesn't take much to get in it. I'm not asking for a lot, but you can't go now. You can't go now. And the devil comes along and says, look, I'm not giving you a mansion in heaven. I'll give you much less. But the thing is, I'll give it to you right now. It's cheap. Just do it right now. It's much easier. You don't have to pay anything to me. This is... And he'll just make the immediate cash offer. Those of you that are in business, when somebody comes to you and says, hey, I want to buy your product, but I'll make the payment next month. Somebody else comes to you and says, I want to buy your product, but I'll pay you cash right now. Give me 10% discount. You'll take the cash because I don't want to wait for another month. Human beings, tuhibbun al-ajila. We want things that come quickly. Shaitan capitalizes on that. He excites your feelings and says, why do you have to wait? Why do you have to be patient? Why can't you have what you want right now? Don't you want to be happy? He comes at you right in front of you and you can't see anything but what you desire, what you want. And it blinds you to the point where you just don't want to think about what's going to happen afterwards, what damage it will do to others, what damage it will do to yourself. You're just completely let on by him. That's actually one of the great attacks of shaitan from the front, from right in front. He glazes your eyes over. And then Allah Azza wa Jal describes, you know, uh, about minbayni aidihim is about the future. If something is right in front of you, like for example, when you're driving on the road and you get stuck in traffic and there's a truck right in front of you, you don't know how bad the traffic is. You can't even look around it because it's so big. Your view is completely blocked. When something is in front of you, you can't look ahead. That's one of the things shaitan wants. What is actually ahead of you and me is meeting with Allah. It's unavoidable. You and I, kadihun ila rabbika kadhan famulaqihi. We are marching towards your master. You and I are marching towards him. It's like even if you're standing there, you're on a conveyor belt that's heading towards Allah. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to accept that or not, it is, we're all heading that way but with every breath that we take. And that meeting is unavoidable. But he doesn't want you to see that. He doesn't want you to see and he doesn't want me to see that with every passing day, we are now closer to meeting Allah than we were yesterday. And then tomorrow we're even closer. And then tomorrow we're even closer. All he wants you to think about when it comes to the future is not meeting with Allah, but meeting with your friends. Meeting with some vacation, meeting, meeting up with some good times. What's going to happen this weekend? What are we doing next weekend? He wants you to think about the future with what's right in front of you, but not the long term. Not the long term. And even people then they start thinking long term, like, yeah, I'm thinking long term. I'm thinking about home ownership. Or I'm thinking about where I'm going to move. Or I'm thinking about my future education. That's long term thinking. But actually Allah wants you to have even longer term thinking. When you and I are going to stand in front of Him.